Each airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that sometimes result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at issues you might encounter at Dubuque Regional Airport from the flight deck. Dubuque Regional is a small to medium-sized multi-use airport located approximately five miles south of the city of Dubuque, Iowa. The associated Class Delta airspace is in effect while the ATC tower is open. Refer to the chart supplement for hours of operation. The runway configuration consists of two runways that intersect at their northern ends labeled runway 1331 and 1836. Apart from the air carrier terminal, all facilities and services are located to the east of the runway complex. While the bulk of Dubuque's traffic is made up of general and business aviation, there is the occasional scheduled air carrier at the airport. There are several flight schools located on the airport, the largest being the University of Dubuque's Flight Training Program a robust helicopter community also calls Dubuque home. When arriving to runway 1318 or runway 3631, pay extra attention to runway assignment and aircraft alignment. One mitigation strategy might be to load an instrument approach or create a GPS user waypoint aligned with your assigned runway. If you are not sure how to accomplish this, please refer to your particular navigation equipment user manual. There are three hotspots on the airport, Hotspot number one is located on Taxiway Alpha and the approach end of runway 18. Even after receiving and reading back the appropriate taxi clearances, pilots have still failed to hold short of runway 18. It's important to understand your complete taxi clearance, including route, turns, and hold short instructions before moving the aircraft. Use extra vigilance watching for pavement markings, above ground signs, and lighting while taxiing. Hotspots number two and three are similar and occur at runway 1331 and taxiways Delta and Charlie. Aircraft are failing to hold short at hotspot two and hotspot three as directed. Like with hotspot number one, make sure you have thorough understanding of your clearance. The opposite situation occurs at hotspot two and hotspot three as well. After landing, pilots are not taxiing clear of the runway, causing delays and go arounds behind them. Remember, to be considered clear of the runway, your aircraft must be completely across the hold short line for the runway behind you. There are a couple issues that you need to be aware of and keep in mind while visiting Dubuque. Tower visibility to the northwest of the tower is limited due to buildings. This is especially true for aircraft utilizing the self-service fuel pumps northwest of the tower. Pilots may be asked for more precise position reports when operating in this area. In addition, large air carrier aircraft occasionally operate at the field. Pilots need to be aware of possible jet blast and taxi accordingly. As with many airports in the national airspace system, Dubuque has major construction projects underway. Ensure your pre-flight planning includes checking no TAMs, construction notices, and ATIS broadcasts. We hope this short video will help you make better decisions and along with the air traffic control tower, help ensure your flight is safe, efficient, and well-informed. Now you're better prepared for your trip to Dubuque Regional Airport. It's always better to know before you go.